Let me tell you a tale. A tale of a creature that is known all across the state of Maine. Our story takes place in the city of Auburn, at the local Walmart, where a being so vile lurks the parking lot it is feared by many. The being that I speak of is none other than a pole. The pole you see before you is known for nearly a hundred vehicular accidents. Yep, this is real. You thought I was joking, wasn't you? But nope, nope, this is real. This pole has been a menace to this parking lot for years. This pole is such an unstoppable force. It has the power to flip a car. It is so well known that the pole itself has its own dedicated Facebook and Instagram pages towards it. It also has its own set of memes. A woman died from natural causes and put the pole in her obituary. There's been a lot of speculation as to why the pole is there and why Walmart keeps having it repaired. If you know it's causing so many problems, why fix it? Is Walmart keeping the poll there for free advertising? Free publicity on social media and Instagram? No. The poll is there to bring awareness to handicapped parking. To keep the disabled and the elderly safe. Yeah, clearly that's not helping the situation here. At one point, Walmart simply said they'd had enough. And they set out to make the poll more visible. By putting caution tape in front of it. That didn't last long. At one point, they tried putting a caution cone in front of it. Still to no effect. Well, surely a stop sign would fix the problem. It reached a point where Walmart was left with no other option. And they put bright neon green plastic sleeves on the pole. Unfortunately, this would only lead to more chaos. Because during the summer of 2021, the green sleeve was stolen, found deserted on the side of a highway. No one knows for sure who stole the marker, but all they knew was that the pole was left unmarked. <laughs> Many took the opportunity to take the pole and put it in front of their businesses for free publicity because they know of how infamous the pole itself is. With the marker gone, the chaos continued until one good Samaritan finally decided to have the marker returned. The parking lot was at peace. The pole has been marked again. Everyone can now see it. Except these guys. It must be so awkward to go to your insurance company to make a claim saying, I hit a pole in a parking lot. It, how does this happen? Upon further research, Maine is not the only place that has one of these poles. This problem persists in Pennsylvania and Arizona at the Walmart of Farmington. 44 miles away from this pole, the problem continues. And at my local Walmart, a week ago it happened. I'm, I'm not even kidding. While editing this video, it, it, it was... What? There's no way of knowing how many people have hit this pole to begin with. But from my research, I did the math. From what I could find online, this pole has been hit by 54 different people. The question still remains, well, why is a pole causing so much damage? Could the land be cursed by the original farmhands that were left with no choice but to sell their properties? Some say the pole just pops out of nowhere like a being hiding in the shadows. Meanwhile, most others just say people can't drive for shit. Looking at this picture, I'm pretty sure we can see the reason why. It came to the point where news reporters reached out to driver instructors and asked their opinion as to why this pole is causing so many problems. You know that area between your windshield and your driver's side window? That's what's blocking the pole, apparently. They say that when you stop for fellow shoppers, you forget that the pole is there, which causes the accidents. 
It got so bad that Walmart just simply gave up. And the pole was removed. And replaced with a smaller, thinner one! Now I know what you may be thinking. The pole has been replaced. Surely this must have solved the problem. Not a chance. So there you have it. Now you know the story of the great Walmart poles and their impact on society as they sit there lurking, waiting for their next potential victim. <sighs> Son of a bitch. <laughs>